สวัสดีครับ In today's program, yesterday's anti-government protests in Bangkok led to violent scenes between police and protesters. Meanwhile, the Tourism Authority of Thailand is holding fast to its forecast of 1.2 million foreign arrivals in 2021, and that gal in a dress you may have seen at your local Nong Khai party was actually a male monk. Details on these top stories coming right up. สวัสดีครับ You're watching Thailand News today, bringing you the latest top stories in Thailand. And in our first story, yesterday's anti-government protests in Bangkok led to violent scenes as police and protesters clashed near the Dindang intersection of the capital. Violence broke out towards the end of what was the largest car mob rally to date. It's understood that around 5 p.m., some younger protesters moved away from the main rally and gathered at the intersection. From there, firecrackers and bricks were hurled at police officers who had stacked up cargo containers to defend the area around the prime minister's residence. Police hit back with tear gas and water cannons. The red shirt leader who organized yesterday's rally was greeted with boos when he arrived and pleaded with the protesters to go home. Natawood had earlier promised that yesterday's protest action would not be violent and given an undertaking that protesters would stay away from places like government house and the prime minister's residence. The director of the field hospital for t h a m a s a d University in central Thailand's b a t u m t a n i province says they will run out of vaccines tomorrow. The director of the field hospital says the field hospital did not get many of the AstraZeneca vaccine doses on Saturday, as scheduled, even after quote borrowing 5,000 doses from the Washira Hospital. So the field hospital will still run out of vaccines very soon. Late last month, the local AstraZeneca manufacturer posted an open letter to Thailand, where they explained their procedures and production process. According to the company, they claim to be able to produce five to six million vaccines for Thailand each month. Yesterday, large crowds gathered around a lotus in central Thailand, s a m u t p r a k a n as early as 5 a.m. after the hospital announced it was providing Pfizer vaccines. The Samut p r a k a n Hospital posted on Facebook to say the Pfizer vaccine would be available for people in four groups. 12 to 18 year olds with one of seven underlying health conditions, people over 60 years old, pregnant women who've been carrying for at least 12 weeks, or men that weigh at least 100 kilograms and women that weigh at least 80 kilograms. s a m u t p r a k a n residents had been told to show up for a queue number at the Lotus at 7 for a vaccine at 8, but many arrived two or even three hours earlier. In fact, so many people showed up for a vaccine that FM91 Traffic Pro tweeted that the vicinity should be avoided because traffic was congested in both directions in front of the shopping center's parking lot. The chief of the Nong Buarawe district in the northeastern Thai province of c h a y a p u m has tested positive for COVID. The chief has previously had two doses of the AstraZeneca vaccine, according to the Provincial Communicable Diseases Committee for c h a y a p u m The district chief has traveled to quote many places and participated in quote many activities, according to officials. But the man tested positive on Saturday, with the results confirmed yesterday. He has been admitted to the c h a y a p u m Hospital for further medical attention. Thai media reports that people who have been in close contact with the chief have been located for testing. Employers in Thailand's fishing industry are being urged to provide their workers with a monthly wage to improve their quality of life. Oxfam in Thailand is calling on companies in the fishing sector to provide more help for their employees during the pandemic. Chak Chai Chom Tong Di from Oxfam says most workers only receive a daily wage with no payment for days that they do not work. For now, despite being guaranteed a minimum wage by law, many workers are unable to afford good quality food and medication. Chak Chai was speaking during an online seminar organized on Facebook by the Reporter Group entitled "The Hard Life of Fishing Workers During COVID-19." 
The Migrant Workers' Rights Network has also echoed the call for a monthly wage, as well as addressing the issue of COVID-19 transmission in the community. Only fishing workers who are registered in the social security system receive state protection, with 50% of their salary guaranteed for 90 days. Even as the country continues to struggle with its worst COVID-19 crisis since the start of the pandemic, the Tourism Authority of Thailand remains optimistic that the mandatory quarantine period might be reduced to seven days in the last quarter of this year. The TAT governor's optimistic outlook is based on the pandemic being brought under control, a situation that currently seems a long way off. Justifying a possible reduction in quarantine, the governor points out that since July the 1st, just 0.28% of the tourists who arrived under Phuket's sandbox scheme tested positive for the virus. Other parts of the country are hoping to open to vaccinate arrivals from October, but the governor says the quarantine period must be reduced to attract foreign visitors. Currently, working off the assumption that Thailand will reduce quarantine to seven days in the last quarter of the year, the TAT is holding fast to its forecast of 1.2 million foreign arrivals in 2021. But he admits that if the pandemic is not brought under control, that the forecast will have to be cut yet again. A young monk in northeastern Thailand has apparently been dressing up as a woman to go out at night. Photos of the monk dressed in his orange robes were posted along with photos of who appears to be the same person, but dressed up as a woman. Complaints have been sent to the local office of Buddhism. The man will probably be expelled from monkhood. The man appears to have dressed up as a woman to go out for drinks and parties at night. The abbot of Wat Yat Gao in Nong Kai, which borders Laos, confirmed that the man is a monk at the temple, but did not know the monk was leaving the temple grounds at night dressed as a woman. After the photos were posted, complaints were sent to the Office of Buddhism, calling on the monk to be stripped of his title. Director of the Office of Buddhism in Nong Kai says the monk's actions can hurt the religious institution's reputation. Internet fashionistas have also weighed in on his choice of party frock and accessorizing. And that is all for the stories we have for you today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell to stay on top of the most important stories in Thailand. And if you haven't yet, check out today's Good Morning Thailand program where Tim and Jay discuss the topics of the day. Meanwhile, you're up to date on The Tiger. It's time to join the conversation. Tiger Talk is our forum where you can share your thoughts and comments about all the news stories, as well as just about anything happening in Thailand. Just scroll down under any Tiger story, click on Tiger Talk, register, and you're in. It's time to join Thailand's fastest growing forum. So jump in and be part of the Tiger Talk conversation.